4.5 billion years ago, an event occurred that changed our planet forever. An object named Thea, about the size of Mars, smashed into the young Earth. Thea was partially absorbed by the Earth, but a large amount of its debris was thrown out into space. The gravitational force of our planet eventually pulled the debris into orbit and the fragments of the collision began to gather. As these clumps of rock grouped, eventually the moon was formed. This is the leading and most accepted theory on how the moon came to be and is called the giant impact hypothesis. So what would have happened if that giant collision never occurred? If the moon that we see shining above us in the glistening night sky wasn't there? Could life on earth be as vibrant and as diverse as we see it today? Would we, the human race, even exist? Without the moon, the Earth would be a wildly different place. Back then, because of the Earth's fast rotation, a day would only have lasted about six hours. With no moon to slow the rapid rotation, powerful winds of up to 200 miles an hour would sweep the Earth, and bigger, violent storms would rage over the surface. The Earth's tilt would also wobble without the moon to stabilise it, taking away its current predictable, fairly constant climate and seasons. This wobble would cause erratic changes in temperature over thousands of years, and different regions would be blasted by heat, then covered by ice over and over. But even with these extreme conditions, it is still believed that life of some sort would exist, capable of withstanding extreme temperatures, high winds, small tides and short days. However, these life forms would more than likely be very different to what we have the pleasure of witnessing today. Evolution is a long process, and the smallest of changes in the environment can dramatically alter its course, which might cause bizarre, almost alien-like creatures to arise. Bacterial life can adapt quickly, however complex life forms like humans probably would struggle, as they wouldn't have enough time to evolve and survive the dramatic, unforgiving changes in the environment. But if complex life did find a way to survive Earth's hostile surface, evolution might favour short, stumpy creatures. Because if they stood tall, they would struggle to bear the extreme winds. Constant gale-like conditions would make it very loud. Creatures would have to communicate in different ways. For example, colour-changing skin or some sort of sign language. They might have used the strong winds as a method of travel and adaptations could have caused some sort of cell membrane, allowing them to glide through the air. Plant life would also struggle with the high winds and storms. They would have to be short with long roots, ensuring they are not ripped out. The hugely animal populated jungles wouldn't exist, meaning that creatures couldn't live in the trees or be shielded in thick vegetation from the storms. Obviously, there isn't any way of knowing what might have been. Life might not have ever have sparked or it might have found a way of adapting perfectly to a moonless Earth. But luckily enough for us, a Mars-sized object did collide with the Earth, and as a result, helped give us the conditions for life to flourish across the entire planet. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit that like button, and subscribe for much, much more to come. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.